Stage seven of the Tour de Suisse took the riders over big mountain passes again and abroad, starting in Ticino in the south of Switzerland, heading over the giant Lukmanir Pass into German-speaking and Romansch territory before going crossing the border into Vaduz and up to Malbun, both in the territory belonging to Liechtenstein. A micro-state between Switzerland and Austria is where the Tour de Suisse finishes this year. Stage 7, the final road stage, 194.6 kilometres ahead of the final day time trial. Only 84 riders started, but the coronavirus crisis calmed down, thankfully. Three non-starters on the day, and 19 riders got into the breakaway on the Lukmanir Pass after a 50-kilometre first hour. Coming up to the end of the race, it would be Israel Premier Tech controlling for the leader, alongside Ineos Grenadiers, who had Geraint Thomas in second place. Michael Matthews was doing his thing in the intermediate sprints, and he'd claim the points jersey after two sprint wins. On to the final climb of the day, Yonis Aguirre went away. Alexei Lutsenko had been in the break with him. Thibaut Pino, another member of that 19-man breakaway, was chasing and third on the road. Pino will be working his way up the mountain, not going into the red. Behind, Remco Evenepoel decided to have a little move off the front, and that was shut down by the leader, Jakob Fulsang. Lutsenko was left by Pino, and Isagirre caught, and then immediately dropped by the Frenchman. Two kilometres to go. Thibaut Pino, after having waited three years for any victory in cycling, was looking to make it two in three months. Stefan Kung had held on for a long time, he'd be distanced, and when Danny Martinez's turn finished, off went Sergio Higuita. Third place at the start of the day, 10 seconds away from the lead, and riding into the yellow jersey. Geraint Thomas made Full Sung do the chasing, and after five hours, five minutes of racing, Higuita was riding away. Running to the finish line at the top of the climb to Malbun, just two kilometers from the Austrian border. It was Thibaut Pino who won in Austria for the first time in three years in his career, just a couple of months back at the Tour of the Alps. This time winning for the second time in his career on the Tour de Suisse and winning on the World Tour. Geraint Thomas attacked Jakob Fulsang in the final 500 meters. Oscar Rodriguez rode stealthily to finish second. Thomas was gaining on Igita, but Igita would take 11 seconds on Geraint Thomas. And Igita would be the new leader by only two seconds going into the final time trial. Jakob Fulsang would drop to 19 seconds down in third place. The yellow jersey ceasing to be so at the end of a tough mountain stage. All the glory going to Pino. Win number 33 in his career, one of the best. 25 seconds ahead of Rodriguez, 38 in front of Lutsenko. Sergio Aguita pulling on a leader's jersey for the first time since he won the Tour of Catalonia in March. And Jakob Fulsang, who's looked so good all week, still in with a shout, but it's Aguita in yellow, Thomas the strongest time trialist on paper, and perhaps the favourite to win the Tour de Suisse as the riders take on the 25 kilometre route in Vaduz, starting on Sunday. So two seconds and 19 seconds to the podium. Paulus is still fourth, Pozzo Vivo is up to fifth, Kung is in seventh. This is what stage eight looks like then, beginning and ending in the capital of Liechtenstein, Vaduz. It's fairly flat, a couple of little lumps and bumps here and there. The Rhine River on one side of the course, coming back into the capital after those 25 kilometers. It'll be the final stage and the deciding stage in this year's Tour de Suisse, the 85th edition of the race. And you'll be able to watch it live and on demand on GCN Plus and Discovery Plus.